Hello everyone, welcome to Game Tech UK and this video which is a VR time trial uh, practicing in the Clio for the upcoming Clio Cup that I've got upcoming on the channel. Uh, details will be on the screen now and there's also a link um, above top right of your YouTube window, there'll be a little white eye. Click there and you can watch the video which will give you the full details. So what am I doing here today? Well I'm going to practice in the Clio um, which has already been tuned up to N300. You're going to have some replay or spectate cameras on your screen as well to make it a little bit more interesting. Uh, we're going to go through we're going to do some tuning so let's have a little look at what we've got at the moment so um, obviously the weight and the power has all gone up to make it n300 traction is on one um, I might even take that off we'll see we'll, we'll, we'll do some laps and see what it's like um, super softs are totally fine because we've only got um, we've only got a couple of laps at Brands Hatch Indy uh, before we go on to the second track but this video is just about Brands Hatch Indy um, in terms of lowering it I've lowered the front um, pretty much all the way a little bit lower than the back I've turned the natural frequency up I think I'm going to turn that up a little bit more actually because I've just done a practice and it still it still was a bit wallowy uh, front and back so we're going to stiffen that up a little bit anti-roll bar is nice and stiff the damping uh, ratio is right up as well um, as is the uh, ratio rebound to make it nice and stiff I haven't touched the camber yet um, haven't touched that at all haven't touched the drivetrain I have touched the transmission I've made that to a maximum speed of 130 because that's all we're going to need here that is literally all we're going to need um, so let's get on and let's do some practice laps so we're just about to first start the first lap and let's see what we can well, let's see what we can start with and what we can pr improve on. But I've got to say, I am really, really loving the VR time trial mode. Uh, it was so frustrating before the fact that you could have um, a VR arcade race against some really poor AI um, of no use to anyone. All they needed to do, which they have done, just to make it a usable feature, is put time trial in there. It's great. What they do need to do is have some um, leaderboards. VR leaderboards, I think, would be very, very interesting. Um, but I like racing in VR. Um, if you are new to the channel, I don't only race Gran Turismo as well. I do race PC. Um, and I do race Room, Assetto, PlayStation, and, uh, sorry, Project Cars. And most of that is done in VR. And I love this VR. I love the PlayStation VR. It is uh, it's a lovely bit of kit, especially for the money. It is a real um, easy way to get into VR. And it's very, very cool. And it improves this game tenfold. Yeah, I got asked the other day actually, is it is is PlayStation um, Gran Turismo, is is it worth buying the PlayStation VR for alone? Someone said that's the only game I'll play. And I probably wouldn't recommend it on that until we can race together. Um, but if you've already got a headset, this is perfect, you know, I want to be able to um, for this upcoming common competition, I do want to start getting competitive and getting better at this game. I'm willing to put the time in. Um, and there's a ghost as well as you can see on my screen you can't see that on the replay camera but there is a ghost as well again which is a nice little feature so let's put some laps in I'm pretty happy with the tune the only thing I haven't touched um, is is the camber which I know I need to do because this does understeer quite a bit I'm really really looking forward to racing these though we're gonna have 16 of these um, all with the Game Tech UK livery. I mean, it's going to be a great showcase for the channel, especially uh, clean racing as well. That is on the 8th of May is the first race. It's going to be a 10, uh, 10 round competition. Uh, we're going to be doing it every other week. Sometimes we might miss a week. Sometimes we might do week two weeks in a row. Um, it's, it's very fluid. It's not, you know, set in stone. Oh my God, I'm coming off here. Right, we need to settle in, Jason. <laughs> We're settled in, here we go. But we will be practicing the other track as well. But this video will just be a very short video. I want to do more of these videos. A um, bit more tuning, a bit more practice. You know I love Gran Turismo. And I love producing content for it as well. Uh, outside of the stream, and I want to start doing more of that. Especially in VR, because it is a very, very cool title in VR. Especially the interiors, I must say, the interiors are some of the best, um, even comparing it to the PC, some of the best interiors um, I've seen. I mean, this this 
this um, interior is fully modelled, even down to the um, bonnet release down there on the passenger side. It's awesome. That's it. We're, we're getting be bedded in now. I can see the ghost behind me. Obviously, I don't think you see the ghost on the replay. I'm just putting the replay there just to make it a bit more interesting as well. And let's face it, the replays are magnificent in Gran Turismo. This is one corner I always have trouble with. Always this last corner. I've lost so many races on this last corner, it's crazy. So the best is 49. We need to be getting better than that, there's no doubt about that. There's a 48. Let's keep him there. So we should better this lap as well. We need to be getting down in the 47s really, don't we? Right, 48 but a better 48. God styled it. It's such a great sensation, especially in VR, to do something like that. Right, this lap ain't going to go for much, is it? <laughs> And also, if you are new um, and you're watching this, uh, feel free to subscribe. I do lots and lots of Gran Turismo on the channel. Very community-based. I do do um, daily races, stuff like that. But most, 99% of the stuff I do is based around building um, a fantastic clean racing community, which we've got. The best place to join that is in the Discord. Link's in the description. Um, but if you are watching it and you fancy joining in with the competition, and you are fed up with the daily races and the dirty races. You won't find that in my community. It's it's amazing. We have some of the most epic races, clean races, you know, respectful. So feel free to join us. Feel free to subscribe. Send me a friend request. If you do send me a friend request, then please subscribe as well because it sort of goes hand in hand. Um, we race generally every Tuesday. Uh, well, guaranteed every Tuesday. We do stuff outside of the stream as well. Um, practice lobby stuff like that that's all set up in discord um, by the other community members which again is amazing um, we have people that do deliveries you know it is a true true uh, community so if you if you're missing that in your gaming or your racing and you haven't found it yet give us a try because I promise you you will uh, you won't go back to daily races if you if you start coming to race with us I need to get some proper laps in here because uh, 48 I know just isn't enough absolutely I know isn't enough and I keep going wide there why am I going wide there but I want to put this on on uh, in a video you know the the struggles you know I want to put it there so we can we can learn together you might be able to give me tips in uh, the comments I might be able to give you a hint or tip that you haven't done it's all about helping each other and so I want to put more of these practice sessions, um, especially in VR, on YouTube. It's just as videos. I do lots and lots of streams, but I do like creating videos as well. Especially now I can put um, the replay or the spectate camera on the screen for you to watch. It is very, very interesting. I love watching the replays as we go. I do that with the PC, uh, the PC streams. Uh, we have a picture-in-picture -picture of the replay, and it is very, very cool. I love doing it. And it's a nice way to showcase everyone else racing, rather than just me as well. 
Well, I'm not having much luck here, am I? Let's really start to push this now. I'll be happy to end this session on a 47 and then and then go from there to be honest with you. Let's tr let's try and get a 47. I can't see the ghost, that means the ghost is literally... Oh, he's in front! Very slow through there, aren't I? And the other thing is about watching videos like this back, myself, I can see what the mistake is I'm making on that last corner. I'm losing a lot of time in that corner, I know I am. there but I will put these up even though I'm not getting the best lap times um, I will put them up because I want to learn from them hopefully you can help me learn you might learn something from them and it's all it's all putting it out there and as I get better with the tuning as well I want to share everything I know about the tuning at the moment like a lot of us it's just the basics lower it and stiffen it and work out the final gear but I want to I do want to start putting more time, believe it or not, into Gran Turismo. I love it. Absolutely love it. And as a title, it's just getting better and better and better. Right, let's go back to the drawing board. Right, so I've changed the camber, a little bit of toe in, and I've also changed the drive change, uh, drive chain setting as well. So let's see, let's see where that gets us. Well, it's definitely turning better, that's for sure. It hasn't, it's not understeering so much. I think this sort of little car is always going to understeer a little bit. I can't catch my own ghost today. Surely that isn't my best time, is it? See, I haven't got any other comparisons. I mean, I know there's going to be a lot, lot faster. I don't know what you lads are doing. I'm sure you're doing faster than a 40, 48. I guarantee it. All I want to do is get a 47 to start with, to be honest with you. I'd be happy with a 47. But if you have got any advice or constructive criticism, leave it in the comments. I will read and reply to every single one. Right, a little bit ahead on that one. Right, it's all down to this last corner. That was better. Right, still a 48, but a better 48. Come on, I can get a 47 here, can't I? Not going wide up there, you won't, Jason. <laughs> Damn, we mustn't swear in videos. <laughs> Only streams. Losing a bit of time on that gear as well. I'm not changing it in time, am I? I'm hitting the river. A uh, re reveter? Rev limiter. So I need to sort that out as well. Right, 
Right, this is the one, 100%. Got a good start up the hill here. Nice and tight on this apex. Catching those gears as we go down. Coming right in tight here. Right, we're above the ghost. Here we go. We're ahead of the ghost. Cutting this apex on the left. Then over to the right. Keeping that smooth as we possibly can. Have I got him? Watching them gears as we go through. Coming up to the start finish. Can I get a 47? Is this the one? 45, 46, not a chance. Oh, 48. I mean, a better 48. Come on, we can do this. See, it's, it's brilliant practicing, um, but when we got 16 of these on the track, I'm not too concerned about my, my time. Although, obviously, if you're out the front, then you need a good time because you're not going to be uh, you're not going to be argy barging with anyone or tussling. You'll be out the front, and that's where your lap times come in. But to start with, the lap time isn't going to be a huge importance because there's going to be 16 of us uh, racing round here, which is perfect. The Clio Cup of Branzach, come on, match made in heaven, you know. I really want to finish on a 47. Can I do it? No, I'm not. I'm not. I don't think I'm going to do it, you know. I'm going to try really, really hard. And I'll be watching back these replays and studying it myself as well. See whether there's any tips I can pick up from my own driving, which is uh, which is a good thing to do as well. And I'll be, be coming back with more practice sessions. Um, so if you want to see more practice like this, more chatty streams, anything like that, feel free to subscribe. I don't only do driving. I am a gaming channel. Um, so there's lots of other stuff, um, lots of VR, lots of indie game reviews, lots of stuff. It's all gaming, not just racing, but I love racing. Racing is probably the biggest part of the channel, um, but there's lots of other stuff. Right, here we go. This is the one. This is the one. Right, we're quite a bit ahead of that ghost. Can I get a 47? Come on. Oh, I just missed it. I know I can get a 47. Come on, I'm sure I can. <laughs> can I? I'm sure I can. I need a 47 to, to build on that, really. I won't be this lap because uh, I'm a little bit behind here, aren't I? It's a horrible corner, isn't it? A very technical corner. Oh, for f <laughs> That's fine. Give me a clear one on the next lap. Right, here we go. This is the last lap. This is the last lap of the video. It's got to be a good one. It's got to be a good one. Can it be a 47? We might have one more lap because I wasn't full speed on the straight, was I? Messy, but stylish. <laughs> It's this last corner, if only I could master this. I'm looking forward to watching back this video once I construct it to see where I'm going wrong. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm losing too much time now. I really need to sort that out. Last lap, then we're going to end the video. There'll be more videos like this. Um, so please feel free to subscribe if that's what you like. I'm 
I'm feeling good on this one. Not a chance. What am I thinking? What am I thinking? I need to go back to the drawing boards. You'd be getting more videos like this. Um, you would definitely be getting more because I need to improve on that time. 48 isn't enough. Uh, but I will see you in the next video. See you later, everyone.